guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video today I'm actually gonna talk about eight hyped products that's gone missing but first of all if you are not subscribed to my channel I would highly suggest you guys to subscribe I upload videos six to seven times a week but let's get into the video so basically what I'm gonna do in this video is that I am going to talk about some products that used to be very hyped everyone seemed to love it everyone said that it was their holy grail and now they have gone missing no one is using them anymore and um, it might be because they have found other products that are better it might be for other reasons but we are anyway going to talk about some products that used to be very very hyped that's nowhere to be found anymore first up I have the Kyla Cosmetics burgundy palette I remember when this came out it was actually one of the palettes that I thought that she did a great job on I don't own anything from Kylie by myself or I don't own anything from Kylie Cosmetics but I did think that this palette was beautiful and it was a smart release because these types of modern renaissance shades was very high and I know that everyone said that this is the best palette that Kylie has ever done and she has come out with it's beautiful it's perfection the formula is so blendable it's pigmented you know yada 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 and now I don't see anyone use it anymore I don't know why people aren't using it anymore it might be because of the new all of the new um eyeshadow palette releases and just the fact that people just don't really tend to use her products anymore i definitely know some people that loves kylie's products and the use or they talk about them but they never use them they say it's my holy grail but they never use them and i don't know if that is just because they want to get on her pr list or whatever but that is the first thing that's gone missing the next product is from cover fx and it's their custom enhancer drops i own these products and i actually use them once in a while i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that i use them on a weekly basis just because i don't use cream highlights that much but I remember when these came out, people were swatching them, saying how amazing they were, and they still are amazing, but I don't see anyone use them. Now they have kind of moved on to the Iconics, and then they have moved on to the, what is that brand called? Like Eloise or something? They use different um, brands now, but that product used to be the shit everyone was using it you know instagram tutorials where people were dropping it on their face and then just smearing it out and now no one is even talking about them the next product is also from kylie and it's her lip kits and i have to be honest and say that i was asleep when her launch when she launched her entire brand i didn't even know that she was coming out with the brand i didn't know anything and suddenly people started raving about these lip kits and that they had to have them and i remember a friend of mine actually purchased some lip kits from her i think it took her two months to even get them it was just insane and i saw these people where people were bashing on the customer service but still people were buying it you know people here in sweden were obsessed and they just kept on purchasing and purchasing and purchasing they were obsessed and now no one is purchasing it i'm not saying that no one is but i'm just saying that it, no one is really talking about it that much i think that some people just got fed up and then kind of just moved on next thing i'm going to talk about is also a lip product and it's from Jouer. it's their lip topper in the shade skin it now i do have to say that nikki tutorials was the person that hyped this up because she used it in her videos she, she swatched it beautiful on her snapchat she always updated us on snapchat saying you know that oh my god you guys now it's back in stock and she definitely brought the hype to this product and i remember that people were going ham and it just sold out like that and now no one seems to be using it no one seems to actually be that into lip toppers because i remember that jue did a collab with jeffree star which was called Funfetti and I don't I don't know I have I don't uh, ugh, I haven't seen anyone try that in videos to be honest I know that he tried it in videos and stuff and I might be because of him that people didn't want to buy it because some people are some people don't like him and uh, th they don't support him but they have come out with other lip toppers as well and I don't see people going crazy about them as they were doing with this candidate. Now I'm going to talk about a brand as a whole and it's Makeup Geek. I feel that Makeup Geek kind of went 
lost. I don't really know what Makeup Geek has been doing. I know that they are going to be available in stores in the US. I don't think that they will be available here in stores, but they will be available in stores in the US. I don't I don't know which um, stores just because I don't live in the US. So I don't really, I haven't put that on my mind just because I don't really care. But the thing is that Makeup Geek was the shit before. Makeup Geek, everyone was talking about Makeup Geek and their single shadows, how amazing they were. I have a lot of shadows from Makeup Geek because I definitely got sucked into that hype and I love them. I also use them all the time. I thought that they were amazing and now I don't hear anyone talk about them. I hear people talk about the ColourPop single shadows and, you know, from indie brands like Divina and other indie brands like Luxi and I don't know, but people are kind of past that and have moved on and I think that Makeup Geek kind of needs to to do something else to put themselves on the map again because I kind of miss Makeup Geek. I actually like Makeup Geek a lot and I like the formula a lot and I wish that they would come out with some bomb ass shades. I would definitely be or I would definitely purchase them if they did. I'm gonna talk about a launch that wasn't it wasn't that long ago actually and it's the dose of colors Desi and Katie collab I don't have this product I don't have anything from their collab but I remember that people were going crazy about this collab people were featuring them in favorites videos and they said that it's amazing palette that um, quad was amazing and people seem to love it and see people did a lot of reviews and tutorials with it but then they it kind of just went lost. The entire collab just kind of like, it kind of just went away. And I don't know why. Was it that good as people said? I mean, I do have to say that their palettes was amazing or the packaging was amazing. I still think that, that is so freaking beautiful, but I don't see anyone use that highlighter. And I don't, especially don't see anyone use that palette, which is kind of sad. And the last thing I have to talk about is the Kat Von D Shane and Light palette. This is a product that I still use to this day. I don't use it as much as I did, but I don't see a lot of people use it anymore. And I think it is because kind of Contour Kit was so 2016 that people are kind of fed up with it. I know that a lot of people have moved away from contouring and they don't contour as much as they did before. They are kind of more bronzing up their skin than contouring their skin. I get that. I am more into bronzing as well, but it's kind of a shame because that palette was, it's amazing. I have definitely abused mine and I know that she came out with a new one with a new formula. I know that people didn't really love the packaging of that and also, but she reformulated it so it would be a vegan um, product and I haven't tried that to be honest. I don't know if that is better or the same formula or if it's worse. I have honestly no idea, but I just know that that product was so hyped everyone had it in their um yearly favorites video after 2016 i still love that product and i i yeah you you guys know i love that product and i love those um under eye brightening powders i think that those are amazing but that is the last product that I had to talk about that was very hyped and that has gone missing. So I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and I will see you on the next one. Bye!